Hi guys, um, in this segment, we are going to write a sentence. I'm gonna say a sentence. You are going to break that sentence down into a certain number of words, and then you're gonna write down the syllables carefully in those words to form your sentence up here. And the reason why we're doing this is so that you can get really good at taking your thoughts and breaking it down into those itty bitty word parts, syllables, so that you can um, get really good at communicating your ideas in writing. You have to start by doing this really slow and step by step so that you can get really smooth and good at it later on. This bit by bit part really is essential um, to learning how to become a strong writer and a strong communicator. So this sentence is really easy. First, find out how many words are in the sentence. Then you're going to break those words down into their um, open and closed syllables. And that's it. Um, so the sentence is, I must focus and be silent. Okay, so you might kind of rehearse that with me and say it with me. Ready? Say it with me. I must focus and be silent. Okay, now um, I'm going to tap on the board. Um, you might take your pencil and tap on your paper, but this is one of those steps that eventually you do automatically. You probably do already. I must focus and be silent. I'm going to do it again. I must focus and be silent. Okay, I think that was six words. I must focus and be silent. Okay, and what comes at the end of a sentence? Some kind of punctuation. So this is going to be a period. Okay, I, that's easy. What kind of I? Capital. I must. Um, must. Do you hear the vowel sound? Uh, we don't hear a vowel name, right? Must. So it is a short vowel. Um, there's consonants after it because it's a short vowel, so it's a closed syllable. Must. Okay. I must focus. Focus. How many syllables? Two. Fo, open syllable. Cus. Uh, closed syllable, short sound. I must focus and Quick one, we know that. I must focus and be, b, e, easy. Open syllable, that e says its name. I must focus and be silent. How many syllables? Silent, two, s, i, because the i says its name, it's an open syllable, silent, uh, and t. I must focus and be silent. Uh, easy peasy, let's do it again. Here's the sentence. Bob got his banjo in a contest. Bob got his banjo in a contest. Oh, that's so cool. Bob got his banjo in a contest. I think it's six or seven. Bob got his banjo in a contest. What goes at the end of a sentence? Some kind of punctuation. Maybe we're excited this time. Okay, Bob. What kind of uh, vowel do you hear? Short. It's a closed syllable. Bob got same thing i hear the short ah uh. closed syllable bob got his another closed syllable is his bob got his banjo banjo ban closed syllable short vowel banjo open syllable long vowel bob got his banjo in Close syllable, A, there's one word, contest, contest, K on is a short O, test, your short E, two syllable word, contest, two close syllables. Bob got his banjo in a contest. Yay, Bob, good job. Okay, um, that's it for writing today. You hear a thought in your head. Um, you plan out how many words it will be, kind of tap it out a little bit. You listen for the vowel sounds and decide if they're long or short. Don't forget your punctuation. Easy peasy, right? Who knew writing was so easy? Nice work. We will continue to build on this knowledge. See you next time.